Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given math riddle. We are going to fill in these boxes such that when we add or divide them, we are supposed to get 43, 13, 19, and 31, as you can see in this figure. So let's go ahead and get started with our this solution. Let's go ahead and label these boxes. I'm going to call this box an A, this box B, this C, and this D. And here is our much nicer looking figure. And here is our very first step. Let's go over this uh, math problem once again. Let's go over this thing A plus B is equal to 43 and I have copied it down right over here and now let's look at a plus c equals to 31 and I have copied it down over here as well and now let's focus on b divided by d equals to 19 and here is our b divided by d equals to 19 over here and finally, let's look at C divided by D equals to 13. And here we got C divided by D equals to 13 over here. Now, let me go ahead and give these equations a name. Let me call this first equation as equation number one, the second one equation number two, and third one equation number three, and finally this as an equation number Four. Now our task is to find the values of these A, B, C, and D. And here is our next step. Let's focus on this equation number 3. And here I have copied it down over here. B divided by D equals to 19. I could write this one as B divided by D equals to 19 let me just put one underneath and let's cross multiply okay so this crisscross so that's going to give us one times b is going to be b equals to the other way 19 times d is going to be 19 d so we no longer have a fractions so let me just go ahead and copy down over here so we got b equals to 19 D and I'm going to call this one equation number 5 and now let's focus on equation number 4 and here I have copied it down let's write it down a little bit differently C divided by D equals to 13 I can make it a fraction by just putting 1 underneath and let's do the same thing cross multiply crisscross so that is going to give us 1 times c is going to be a c equal to the other way is going to be 13 times d. Now I am going to copy it down over here. c equals to 13 d and I am going to call this equation 6. Just keep in your mind. And now in this next step we are going to subtract equation 6 from equation number five so let's go ahead and do this one if we do this one b minus c is going to be 19 d minus 13 d and if we simplify this thing we are going to get b minus c equal to 6 d and i am going to call this equation as number seven and now we are going to subtract equation 2 from equation 1. Here's equation 2 and here's equation 1. We are going to subtract this one. So I'm going to change the sign. This become negative, negative, and negative. This cancels out. We got B minus C equals to 43 minus 31 is going to give us 12. So I can write this one as simply B minus C equals to 12. And I am going to call this equation number 8. 
And now we are going to compare equation 7 and equation 8. And if we compare them, we can see the left hand sides are same. So I can write 6d equals to 12. If I divide both sides by 6, so that means d is going to give us equal to 2. So thus our d value turns out to be 2. And here is our next step. Let's go ahead and substitute d equals to 2 in this equation number 5. And here is our equation number 5. Let's go ahead and replace d by 2. So this become b equals to 19 times 2. That means b is going to give us 38 value. So thus we got b equals to 38. And now we are going to substitute d equals to 2 in this equation number 6. And here is our equation number 6, c equals to 13d. Let's go ahead and replace d by 2. So c equals to 13 times 2. So c is going to be equal to 26. So our value, C value turns out to be 26. And here is our final step. Let's go ahead and substitute B equals to 38 value in our equation number 1. And here is our equation number 1, A plus B equals to 43. And here is our equation number 1, A plus B equals to 43. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. A plus B in our case is 38 equals to 43. We want to isolate A. Let's move this 38 on the other side. So A equals to 43 minus 38. So that means our A value is going to be 5. So thus our A value turns out to be 5. So thus our A value turns out to be 5, B is 38, C is 26, and D equals to 2. So therefore this box is going to have a 5, this 38, this 26, and this 2. And we can see that 5 plus 38 is going to give us 43. 5 plus 26 is going to give us 31 and 38 divided by 2 is going to give us 19 and finally 26 divided by 2 is going to give us 13 and that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.